What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks, and are you ready for a good old fashioned Halloween mask unboxing? Let's go. Yes, yes, with Halloween season more than officially here already, although pretty much every day is already Halloween around these parts. I figured it would be a good time to do a classic Halloween mask unboxing, and I believe that we have more than one mask in this box. Now, this package comes to us courtesy of Closed Casket Studios, Mr. Dave Shonk, and that name may ring a bell if you've been watching my channel for a while, and when I say a while, I mean a while. I'm talking like 10 years now. Way, way, way back in the day before the House of Masks was ever anything like it is right now, I had done some videos on some masks that I picked up from another Ohio native at a convention up in Columbus called Midwest Haunters Convention. And that artist was none other than Dave with Closed Casket Studios. Now, I always really, really enjoyed Dave's style. It definitely reminded me of stuff that you would see at a haunt. A very classic, gritty Halloween feel. And it did didn't hurt that his prices were amazing. I'm talking 50 to $75 per mask. So all the way back then when I was buying these masks in person from Dave at these conventions, we hit it off. We were good friends and then he disappeared for a long, long time. I don't know how or why, but we fell out of touch. And then earlier this year when I was down at my first trans world convention in St. Louis, I bumped back into Dave. He had a full blown booth and it was massive and it was gorgeous. Tons and tons of new pieces, but tons of old pieces that I remember from almost a decade ago. So, of course, I had to pick up some old stuff and some new stuff, and those pieces were all for pre-order. Pretty much everything that he had there was for display, so he was showing these items off, and he was taking the orders to have done before Halloween, and my box has arrived. Now, the fun part is... I don't remember what I ordered. I remember that I ordered one specific piece, which I will tell you guys about as we pull it out, but as for the rest, I don't remember. I think there is one other mask in there for sure, but I could have bought more than two masks. I don't know. So we're just going to jump on into this package together, the blind leading the blind here, and we will all be surprised and happy and joyous and disgusted all at the same time. Let's go. All right, so it is a pretty decent sized box. That's what she said. And it has been crushed by the post office, which is pretty cool. I don't know how they did so much damage to this in such a short time, because as I mentioned, Dave is an Ohio native, which means that this came from Ohio, which means that it probably was only in the mail for a day. And somehow they decided to make an accordion out of half of my package. So Let's go ahead and see what's going on. It looks like we've got some sort of flyer or uh, pamphlet art there. And there's some more stuff on the back. I'll give you guys a better look at this towards the end of the video. Lots and lots of goodies in there. Looks fantastic. It also looks as though he has included some stickers there. Guys, I don't know what's going on with the focus on this thing. It really wants to focus on my face. And that's a problem when I'm trying to show you guys stuff closer up. If my face is in the camera, it kind of uh, just focuses on whatever it wants to do. And that's super irritating, so I'm sorry. I don't know how to fix it, but I will try to figure it out over the course of the next couple of videos. So, here is the first piece. This is going to be the surprise piece, so I guess we will throw that over there. And then this is the piece that I definitely remember ordering because... This is a piece that I got off of him, probably the first piece that I ever got off of him way back in the day. I'm talking 2013, 2014, whatever was my first year attending the Midwest Haunters Convention. Had to be one of those years, and this is the first piece that I bought off of Dave. So, I had to go ahead and buy another one. I was so glad that he still made these. These are such a killer piece, especially for the weird atrocity that they actually represent. And that piece is going to be the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the next generation cover mask. It's that weird kind of drag queen transvestite. And am I allowed to say transvestite? Is that a, is that a cancel word? You guys going to cancel me for that one? I don't know what the, the right term for that is, but it's like Leatherface cosplaying a female or whatever. I don't know. Who cares? I probably just got canceled for this entire video. Regardless, I really, really like the mask that's on the cover there, and I really like Dave's rendition of the mask. So that is 
the first piece. Obviously, it is a pretty scary, spooky, creepy, gross little masterpiece right there. Or, should we say masterpiece? So yeah, I was super, super happy to still see these available for purchase, to know that he was still producing these and that I could get my hands on one once again. I have no idea what happened to my old copy, and honestly, I think that these newer copies are a little nicer than the ones that were available back then. I think that he mentioned down there that he had actually retooled the sculpt and got it a little more accurate to what was on the cover of that old TCM movie. And that's just pretty cool. I also know that I happened to repaint mine back in the day. I wanted to do some sort of custom like mix between this mask and the actual Pretty Woman mask from the 74 Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And what I came up with was cool. But honestly, I wish that I had left it alone. And honestly, I wish I still had the mask. And maybe I do. Maybe it is in storage somewhere. I have totes and totes and totes full of masks. And I could still have that. But I doubt it. It was super, super old. And it went through a couple of moves if that was the case. So it never hurts to have another copy. And I can just leave this one alone. And as I mentioned, I am super, super happy with that. It is a terrifying little mask. And now we can get over to the mystery mask. I don't remember what I bought, but it looks pretty cool. Seems to have some sort of burlap texture to it. And I don't know if you guys can see through the plastic there. It looks pretty shiny and bright to me. The glare coming off of those lights. So I will give you guys the first look at it as I take it out of the bag there. And I still can't see it. But I'm assuming it's pretty cool because I bought one and we're going to turn it around and I'm going to look for myself now. Hell yeah. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, just a classic, gritty, old school haunted house type of style to Dave's sculpts and finishes. This thing is absolutely beautiful. Very, very cool. Very spooky. And again, the grittiness. I really love the grittiness of his pieces. They just look like they have the craziest textures. They look really gross. They look like they probably smell bad, even though they smell pretty good. I'm not going to lie. They do smell really, really good. I love the smell of sweet, sweet latex in the morning. It's actually 6.30 p.m., but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I believe I know what you are saying. Hell yeah, a nice full head skull scarecrow mask. That is just a classic concept. Who doesn't like a nice zombie or skull mask, and who doesn't like a nice creepy scarecrow? So obviously, when you combine them, you're going to have something very, very cool. I really, really like the black and gray paint job of this, although he does have a few different finishes available. So this is the one that I signed up for, obviously, because this is what we have. And this is just a classic nice mask to have around. I think that you can stick this just about anywhere, and it's going to look nice. And this definitely just became a nice new decoration here at the House of Masks. So, there you guys have them. A nice Halloween mask unboxing, just a classic old school House of Masks style video with some classic old school Halloween masks to get you guys in the mood for spooky season. We are coming up on September very, very quick, which means that it is almost time. It is almost our month. It is almost time for everything to be right in the world, and I personally can't wait. I am looking forward to making as much of the season as I possibly can. I want to go out. I want to go to haunted houses. I want to go to thrift stores. I want to go Halloween hunting. I want to visit lots and lots of Halloween stores. And I'm just looking forward to Halloween this year. And I hope that you guys are too. Massive, massive shout out to Dave for these amazing pieces and getting them to me on time. I definitely appreciate it. And I'm looking forward to putting these things to use. And if you guys, the viewers, would like to go check out Dave's work for yourself, I will be dropping all of Closed Casket Studios information down below. Make sure to go over there and show him some love and most importantly let him know that the house of masks sent you i definitely wouldn't mind unboxing some more closed casket pieces here on the channel in the future now before we go and i leave you guys with some nice hero shots to show you all of the beautiful beautiful detail on these pieces i have to give you a big thank you as well thank you very very much for being here and continuing to support the house of masks i definitely appreciate it if you would like to take your support one step further there are many many ways to do so you can go sign up for Patreon and get all kinds of cool rewards. You can go over to my merch store and buy some banging ass shirts, or you can simply go to Cameo and get a one-of-a-kind personalized message from yours truly. Any of these ways are a nice, cheap way to support the channel and obviously get something in return. And trust me when I say my stuff is cooler than just about anybody else's on this platform, you will definitely be getting your money's worth. Now, with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and shut this one down. Until next
next time, this has been AJ Good here at the House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol and yes to a decade of masks. And we'll see you guys in the next one.